welcome back to Mommy Duties. I'm 32 weeks pregnant now, 8 months, so that means this is coming to an end. And I can't believe that I'm at my last stages of pregnancy already. A little update on my guilty and healthy cravings. My not so good cravings, I've been drinking a lot of coffee, not a lot, lot let me not scare anybody. I've been drinking coffee once a day, just in the mornings, I just can't drop it. But what I've been doing is just pouring a lot of milk, half water, a little bit of creamer and like a tablespoon of the instant coffee. So it's mostly like I'm drinking milk with a little bit of coffee. I'm just trying to justify myself so I don't think it's too too bad. As for my healthy cravings, I've been into these protein energy bites where I roll up peanut butter, honey, oats, coconut flakes, chia seeds, and mini chocolate chips together. And they just satisfy my sweet tooth and they're very beneficial since it has so much protein. As for some symptoms, I'm feeling tired again. I'm not sleeping well during the night. I'm waking up periodically, tossing and turning. Nothing is comfortable anymore. I have pillows going all around me and I just still don't feel comfortable. But um, yeah, I'm like a zombie during the day. And I still have the back pain. I did go through physical therapy for like five weeks. Unfortunately, it didn't really help. It didn't subside. I still have the back pain. I just have to deal with it and just cross my fingers, it goes away after she's born. And I did mess up my back a little bit more this time around because I tried to potty train Christopher, you know, I just wanted him to be potty trained before the baby comes. Unfortunately, I had to give up though the fourth day. We were just both frustrated. He wasn't ready. I was forcing him in the toilet. So it was just an overall mess. Since he has so many accidents, I had to like crunch down and bend down to clean up his accidents and so that really messed up my back as well. Um, but I'm making sure to ice it a couple of times a day and that's helping a little bit but what can I do? Little TMI, I've been leaking colostrum which is normal if you don't leak it's normal as well. But for me I feel like it's a good sign that I'm going to be breastfeeding well. I'm not sure if that ties in together but for me that's a good thing. And lastly, I was hoping to have a name reveal by this time, but we still haven't decided a name. There's just so many beautiful options for girls and it's just so hard to choose one. One, it's hard because when you tell a family member you like a certain name, one will say, yes, we love it, and another one will say no and have an opinion about it. So it's hard to keep everyone happy with the name. Maybe we'll have to wait until she's born, see her face, and put a name on her. Or I just really have to sit down and think, 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 and decide. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and do a belly update. There she is. That's going to be it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.